Hi guys, this is Jasmine of Jasmine Creates. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Today I am showing you another sketchbook tour, and this is with my newest sketchbook from Koval Sketchbook, the size B5 with Buckingford paper. I'm gonna tell you the story about my sketchbook, my experience later on. But first, if you are new to my channel, if you are new here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like uh, working with sketchbook, uh, sketching, illustration, urban sketching, anything about uh, sketching tips and art, art related topics. Welcome to my channel and please subscribe here and don't forget to click the notification button so you can always be notified once I upload a new video. So uh, the newest sketchbook on Colwell is with B5 series so it's more it's a little bit bigger than uh, the normal sketchbook and also smaller than the sketchula and this time I'm trying uh, the sketchbook with Buckingford paper as, as far as I know they also have Arches paper Fabriano now with the B5 series but I am having I'm using here the Buckingford paper um, it is actually an English watercolor paper traditionally made on cylinder mold machine and and it's high quality paper made using pure materials to archival standards it's very important that you have that especially if you like to keep your drawings um, with you for a long time uh, it used natural woolen uh, fields that gives it distinctive random texture and you can really feel it once you use it with your brush and with water you can feel the texture on this paper and um, they made this one especially for gouache artists also the one we use ink and also pencils and that's why i love this sketchbook uh, the rest of the story of my experience about this sketchbook i will tell you to you after the sketchbook tour it's because uh, after this flip through i have this compilation of my drawings that i'm showing it here so th that's the time that i'm gonna tell you my experience about this paper this sketchbook So there you have it, finally after 3 months in the making, I finally finished all the pages on the sketchbook and now I'm, I'm gonna tell you my experience about this. So again a recap, this is by the way a sketchbook from Cobalt Sketchbook with the newest uh, size um, B5 series and also newest paper, the Buckingford paper. Um, my experience about this, uh, I tried everything with this. This is the first sketchbook that I have that I almost tried everything here. At first I tried a gouache and then uh, also colored pencil, ink and also acrylic paint, acrylic markers and also watercolor. So I tried almost everything I have in the house for this sketchbook. Also brush pen by the way. And uh, honestly the first thing I noticed that this really worked well with my gouache as you can see here. On this work it almost like a uh, yeah it's almost like a canvas like I can really make a realistic painting with this with gouache it's really works well and it's perfect because it's 300 GSM paper and it's very smooth 
I love the texture of this. I love the blending of my gouache here. It's very friendly for me. That's why I enjoy it. Honestly, it's I, it's enjoyable to use with gouache. So if you are a gouache person and you like to work with big sketchbook like this, try a backing board paper because they are really made for that uh, gouache artist and also inked and colored pencil. And I loved working with colored pencil here, by the way. I use colored pencil here, uh, a combination with my gouache to uh, details. If you notice uh, the first page, the first sketch that I made here, that was from that. And um, yeah, but honestly, uh, later on, I didn't really use colored pencil anymore because I thought like using only gouache is good enough for this paper. Maybe because also my technique but actually it's also maybe because of the paper itself it's 300 gsm and it's natural white and thick enough for her gouache so absolutely something you can you should uh, try when you like to work with gouache Okay, I'm a little bit enthusiastic with my uh, gouache technique on this sketchbook, on this buying for paper from Kobo sketchbook. But then the second question is, is it okay also for watercolor? Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's also good with watercolor. You can see here, this is my first uh, sketch on my uh, Kobo sketchbook B5 series with watercolor. It works fine. I don't mind it, but... Um, there's also a downside here. Um, I have a feeling that uh, the blending is a little bit uh, tricky with backing board paper. And yeah, but it works fine. You know, at first when I uh, sketched the monster, I tried to blend it smoothly, but I didn't really get it. But then uh, later on, I on my urban sketching outside, I tried it and I think I, I it's also okay with watercolor and I like my work here by the way the favorite sketch that I have in this sketchbook is made with watercolor honestly but um, yeah it's about the subject also because also the final result was really nice and it was made with watercolor but uh, working with gouache is the best thing you can use here and um, why I don't like it with watercolor uh, yeah you will see that that kind of thing that uh, uh, not really uh, fluent and uh, not really smooth uh, blending of watercolor that's what you get on this uh, sketchbook because it's very smooth and it's made with filled a uh, woolen filled uh, material so that's why I think it's not with cotton paper so that's why it doesn't work maybe maybe disclaimer maybe that's why but um i only judge this book with my experience i love it with watercolor definitely it's also something to try if you're not really perfection you just like really like a sketchy technique sketchy style is fine with this if you don't really want to blend a lot with your watercolor it's also awesome because honestly i also use this watercolor with my watercolor when i was outside urban sketching as you can notice here this is still again my uh, experimenting technique my experimenting with watercolor and on backing for paper um i still um i still don't know how it works but later on on my urban sketching i really enjoyed it So here is my third attempt of watercolor, urban sketching. So I tried again colored first and then line. Um, I still again uh, try to blend it and it's just checking how it works with watercolor. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. And this time I tried to, in I tried to blend and um, mix with lines and colors. So at first color and then line. I still uh, didn't like the effect. I don't know why, but again, I tried it again this time it was really awesome look at this one it was even raining that time when i did this one again i first tried the line first and then watercolor so lesson learned never give up too easy 
So with watercolor it's awesome, it's also okay, but don't expect you get a realistic style, a realistic effect. But if you just like to layer color without blending, that's perfect. By the way, acrylic markers, yes, absolutely, it's good, it's perfect. You can use what acrylic markers with this sketchbook with this backing for paper. So if you like to use a mi multimedia, mixed media, try this a brand from backing for paper, especially from Kobo sketchbook because it's really forgiving it's a something you can you should try to enjoy sketching so this is my last urban sketching drawing on my sketchbook from Koval. i uh, this one is really when i uh, use this one when i made this one i just enjoy drawing i just enjoy lining i don't even rush so you can see i it's obvious that i enjoy sketching on this one <laughs> i love this sketchbook so I left with the first page of my sketchbook blank, so I of course I always sketch on this last and this one I stick with my gouache and I just thought like I don't know what to sketch on this one it, because I only have a half of it so I thought like I'm just gonna sketch their photograph in front of my table on my desk so I thought like I'm just gonna sketch this and also when I walked to my work on my way to work I saw this beautiful dying tulips and I thought like maybe it's nice to sketch this because I signed off uh, end of spring it's uh, beginning of summer so again another vlog finish so I hope I'm gonna see you again in my next coming vlog it's all about the urban jungle urban sketching at home all my plants in my new room I am gonna bring you there and also tell you about my passion of plants and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you like what you're seeing here on my vlog don't forget to click that bell button to notify you once I upload a new video. Thank you guys. Thank you for all your support. Have a nice day. Bye.